In this video, I'll be going over what to expect in the first Nimbus C update of this year. This has been an update that has been basically in the works for multiple months by now, and it's been. People have high expectations of it. And I do as well, but let me go over what I expect from this update and what that has been basically just shown off in the patch notes as well as in the discord where we got a bit of sneak peeks from it so obviously we have the new nimbus c nimbus c is a brand new c that is the second c of arcane odyssey it is below the bronze c in terms of like north and south so it's it goes south of mount authors and the way you get to it is you have to go to the side of Mount Authors, like these blue places here, and there will be like a portal where it will ask you if you want to go to the next sea. Then you just go through it and you just do that and that's about it. Now is like it's still a work in progress sea, so not all of the islands have been added yet. There are, however, some like wilderness islands being added which you can like capture and stuff as well as the major story island which is called samaria and that's where basically all the story stuff is going to be happening in that update and another thing to note is that's literally it in that sea like we're only gonna get a level increase of 11 levels to level 136 right now the level cap is around level 125 and with the two story chapters i believe that's being added we'll only get to level 136 now is that like little yes that is pretty anticlimactic that is but it has been basically been a few months since the last update and like only a level increase of 11 levels for those few months of waiting it's pretty anticlimactic but don't really don't be mad about it because this because getting like the second c started is the hardest part now updates will come in like every month or so which is going to be really nice like to play so every month or so vtex will be releasing updates which can be story related or even just items it doesn't really matter it's gonna be really nice to have that being like a new update schedule for Ark and odyssey that's unheard of basically and that's those stuff aside there's also just a lot of balancing that that has happened since the dark sea update to nimbus obviously there's the new items there's so many new items that i, I can just show off the new armor sets here and there's also been a lot of revamps to all of existing items as well like gems have been gutted literally they are completely nerfed so are they useless not entirely but have they been nerfed a lot yes there's also just a lot of changes to a lot of magics as well so it's going to be interesting to see what the meta is going to be in the next update as well as well you know the new armor like arcanium armor or the fighting style armors building armor sets is going to be way more difficult in the next update like you want it's going to take a while until every single stat has been figured out so that you can use them in like build like build build making websites or something but other than that that's basically it the main thing i wanted to focus on this in this video is there's not much to expect in this update other than you know the new items and the slight level increase as well as maybe a few smaller changes like quality of life changes and stuff like that but there's also a major thing i want to talk about which is optimization apparently vtex has done a bit of optimization for this update even though it's it's not a hundred percent but it's enough where it may be usable i don't know but nonetheless it's gonna be interesting to see what's what's gonna happen 
Also, I can barely hit this thing. It's going to be very interesting to see what, how the Nimbus C is going to feel like compared to the Bronze C. Because the Bronze C is basically 100% complete. It's laggy due to, you know, players. Because of, like, we have a full server all the time. And the Nimbus C, we're not going to necessarily have full servers all the time. It's going to be most people who are just max level always. And I think that's going to be... That's going to help us with the lag. Possibly. Who knows? It really depends. And another thing is that... There's, there, have, there have been a lot of, you know, AVP changes and stuff. So... Again, it's going to be really interesting to see how the Nimbus is going to be like. Not every change has been, well, so, like, not every change has been nice, as to say that. But, I guess it's just better for the game. And it's going to be one heck of a experience once that is released. Once Nimbus is finally released. Another thing I want to mention is that if you want to prepare for the Nimbus C, I would recommend having a bunch of galleons. As you can see, I have 100,000 galleons here as well as another 100,000 in my clan. And not only will I be using it, I'll, I'll be helping my friends out with it. So we're not going to be having um, a, we're not going to be having problems with money for the Nimbus C to upgrade gear and stuff. And another thing that I want to mention is quests repeatable quests are being removed that's just a major thing so if you wanted to like speed run with you know we're doing repeatable quests that's not going to be a thing anymore so what i recommend for you to do is if you have completed like the the you know the, the board centurion quest before or a lot of these quests before they will disappear for you if you have completed them so I said, what I suggest you do is do the quest. Do the quest, but don't claim the quest. Like I can go and claim this quest right now, but I'm gonna save this for the Nimbus C. So that's what I'm gonna be, that's what I'm doing right now basically is that I'm taking quests, I'm completing them, but I'm not claiming the quest so that I can then claim them during the Nimbus C to get a head start basically for the level and such like that. That would be really fun to do. And I, th I think it might work. But it doesn't really matter if it doesn't work. It's fine. Because we're going to find other ways to level up really easily. There's been a lot of changes to like luck potions as well. So luck, luck potions are being wiped completely. As well as legendary scales. They're going to be wiped completely. And obtaining them is going to be pretty difficult. Because now you literally can't get them from luck 4. Or any luck that in that case and it's gonna be pretty interesting to see that now the the thing that you should be looking out for is for conjurers because because of the new 11 level cap increase even though it's not that much conjurers get to use a new skill and it's crushing judgment now I'm not entirely sure if Vtex increased crushing judgments skill level i think they didn't in fact they even decreased uh, the the vindicators level from 120 to 110 so i don't know what's it gonna be like but as a conjurer if you go 160 weapons and 110 magic you'll be able to use vindicator crushing judgment so that's gonna be sick. And I wanted to use I wanted to use Question Judgment on Conjure for so long, and I can finally do that. At least Conjures get to use something. Of course, ma ma Magics as well. They're they are they're also gonna get some cool stuff like Magic M1. That's gonna be pretty new. And a lot of the Magic spells are being increased. So instead of let's say 164 Pulsar or 164 Surge, they're being turned to 200 same for uppercut and axe slash and javelin and selino are, are turning to 150 magic stats i mean strength stats and magic stats and that's gonna be interesting to see how that turns out obviously it doesn't really matter for mages but for hybrid builds basically you can't it doesn't really matter for warlocks and warlocks already go 150 strength but 
for let's say conjurers they won't be able to use javelin anymore which that they lose something to gain something it's like a trade-off but yeah there's nothing else to say in this video but yeah i've been doing uh, luck parties by the way so i've been doing a luck marathon in this past week i'm still doing some by the time this video is uploading i'm doing a few more and i'm just you know getting sunkins before it's too late because i want to get a full set of sunken warrior before before the other releases because getting sunken warrior at that point will become way more harder to get because getting luck potions will become way harder to get and after that after i've gotten that final sunken warrior chest piece that's about it i'll have every item in the game and i can't wait to also just start collecting items in the nimbus sea because they're adding so many armor pieces like just so many armor sets and they all look amazing they all look great and i just can't wait one most one more thing is that there is not going to be a new ship coming out this update the frigate is coming out at the end of the nimbus sea not the start so if you're like excited that there's going to be a ship coming out no there's the brig is still going to be here with us for a while and i would recommend you to you know upgrade your brig to max because you were going to fight some monstrous ships in the nimbus sea for nimbus seal chest and that's how i think you can even get the nimbus seal i mean the, like the new items from those nimbus seal chests so this is my build you can take it i have all speed deck hands and i just i just love my ship I, this is like this is my favorite ship and yeah that's about it so are you guys in this video if you've been here before subscribe if you want to you're coming back anyway so yeah i'll see you guys in the nimbus sea um where's the thing bye